Tense moments in one James City County neighborhood overnight. Police say 23-year-old Kenneth Wilder barricaded himself and a 22-year-old woman inside a home with several weapons. This happened in the Ford's Colony neighborhood. Nico Clements explains the situation lasted several hours. So young woman that was in that situation, my heart goes out to her. I can't even imagine how scary that is. This normally quiet community was troubled by violence overnight. It started around 10 last night when neighbors say they heard gunshots. Police say a woman waved officers down and told them this man, Kenneth Wilder, was having a mental health issue and had barricaded himself and another woman inside a home. Officers believe he was shooting outside the home before they arrived. Police say Wilder had an AR-15, a handgun, a knife, and a hatchet and wouldn't let the woman leave. After hours of negotiations, officers helped the woman out of the home. Wilder's still inside. Kelsey Helmick lives not far from the home here in the Ford's Colony subdivision. I got frustrated because there's no reason that especially a mentally ill person should have access to an AR-15. Police say Wilder barricaded himself inside the home for more than nine hours. Police say just before 730 this morning, Wilder came out of the house dressed in a bulletproof vest and a ballistic helmet carrying weapons. A look at Wilder's criminal background doesn't show much. Just the possession of marijuana charge in 2016. Helmick believes the tense situation speaks to a bigger issue. Just continues to show how important it is to have stronger gun control, especially for people with mental illness issues. I really genuinely hope that he's able to get help that he the help that he clearly needs. She's glad things were resolved because she knows it could have ended worse. In James City County, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now.